Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or more likely welcome me back to my own channel because I've been gone for nearly a year but I think it's time to come back and actually restart my YouTube channel. One of the reasons that I've been absent for so long is that I am basically a one-man band and I've been doing so much by myself and trying to kind of work on other platforms like Instagram and TikTok but luckily for me i've got a new partner in crime and his name is tom and he'll be helping me to edit and do all my youtube videos as well as some of my other social platforms so tom say hello hello how are you i'm doing good i'm ready for some recording i'm ready to get some content done. i am so excited tom is a very good friend of mine we've known each other for years uh, i never really knew that he could film which is uh, amazing because now I have help. Yeah. Well, I didn't <laughs> I even know I could film either, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just here, just vibing and just trying to make it right. No, honestly, I'm gonna. I'm so excited about this partnership. So um, I hope you guys enjoy his editing. And if not, tell me and I'll fire him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do a really cool spooky tutorial today. Glow in the dark, bony kind of hand, um, a skeleton kind of thing on a nail. And I'll be using all the products from Daily Charm. Just a quick one. If if you guys want to use or buy any of the products that I'm using today on the video, you can use code SFX on the website and you also get a 10% discount with your purchase. <laughs> All right, so yalla, let's go. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to do first and I love and I need to share it with you guys is use this product from Nail Order. It's called Etch and this has saved me so much time when it comes to prepping the nails especially for artists that do press on nails you don't have to buff the nail and all of that you just literally edge the nail with this product and it's incredible you only have to basically um just wipe it across the nails a few times and then it kind of melts the plastic so it's ready for you to paint on and it won't just you know uh, peel off easily and it does kind of it's a lot kinder on your wrist because you don't have to um you know keep filing and you know how horrible it can be when you're constantly filing right so i'm just literally applying that all over the nail and getting some sort of a texture on it before i apply my next color literally just press it on the nail and now i'm gonna go on to using some black color and i'll drop the nail that's okay using this um daily charm gel and it's a black one it's called perfect black it's really really gorgeous and super thin so I'm gonna apply a layer of black all over the nail this is such a long nail as well I might need a little bit more pigment over here there we go this is a beautiful black it's got like a blue hue to it if it makes sense most blacks they have like a dark brownish color color underneath but this one has a beautiful kind of navy dark blue if you can see it i don't know if you can see it with the camera but you know it's absolutely stunning i'm applying a layer of this and i'm going to cure it for 30 seconds 30 seconds or 60 seconds 60 seconds i think if it works love there we go so the first layer is now cured if you can see guys and I'm gonna apply another one just to make it like super super black it's not really needed if you can see this color is so so pigmented it's stunning but I always go for two layers you can never have enough black <laughs> so I'm gonna literally apply that all over uh, I feel like a YouTube version again so we've got that on and I'm going to cure that again for 60 seconds and then we're going to apply a matte top coat. So we've got both our layers cured at the moment and for this design, because I'm going to sprinkle some glow in the dark pigment on top, I want the background color not to be as sticky. So I'm going to um, apply a matte top coat by JN, which is one of the best matte top coats in the world. And honestly, this is a big thing for me to say but it is honestly up there and it's brilliant for chrome work, etc. It's really, really good. And I do have a discount code for this as well, so I'm gonna link it below in our description, but um, you could do as well a glossy top coat if you want, but I do prefer a matte finish for this design in particular. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a layer of this 
before we start painting our hand. So from this stage, it's, uh, it's up to the viewer if they want to make it glossy or if they want to make it matte. Exactly. I just think that matte looks so good for this particular design. It's Who's just matte? Yeah. <laughs> who, who is he? Who's Matt and why? Your why replacement. Is... Oh, really? <laughs> I'm going to just apply a thin layer. Honestly, this is an amazing matte top coat. It's one of those matte top coats you can use as well for like chrome designs and it doesn't stick when you rub the pigment onto the nail. You know, sometimes it gets a bit messy. This one, mm -mm. this matte top coat has got you covered. So I've got a, just gonna pull it upwards a bit because sometimes when you do press-ons and you press on the paint on the tip, it does kind of go weird. So I'm just gonna apply that all over. Yeah, I've applied a really thin layer and I'm uh, popping it back to the lamp for 60 seconds. Right, so let me show you how it looks now. So this is the matte top coat, it's so beautiful. So now that I've got that on, I'm going to use this product over here, which is Perfect White, that's from uh, Daily Charm as well. And I'm just gonna pop it onto my mat over here underneath. So, I can just wipe it off. And I can't be bothered to get a palette. <laughs> <laughs> the world is your palette. I know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I've got this cool pen as well from here, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a dotting tool, but it's got like four different sizes. It's so cool. And it's so cheap as well. So I said, you know what, let me get it. So I'm gonna put it on the lowest setting now, and I'm gonna start painting the hand of a skeleton. So just before we start painting, I'm gonna just explain the anatomy. Okay, I'm not a scientist whatsoever, by the way. But I'm looking at a picture, the inspiration is from Shein. So basically every finger has three kind of bones. It's uh, divided into three bones and then there's like a long bone here and then tiny bones at the bottom. So just when you paint a finger, think about four bones, four bones, four bones, etc. And then just a cluster of bones at the end. So it's not as hard as you think, okay? So I'm gonna dip that dotting tool. <clears throat> I'm gonna dip that dotting tool <laughs> into the white paint and then I'm gonna go ahead and start with the middle finger because we all like the middle finger right oh yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna paint literally just a bit of a triangle ish okay it looks like a triangle but it's rounded in the corners obviously we're using a dotting tool and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint just underneath that a little um, kind of square but it's not a square if it makes sense and then I'm gonna do two long bones, as far as I'm aware. Actually, I might extend this one a bit. Then make sure there's just enough space in between, because we're going to sugar it in a bit, and we wanna make sure that um, there is some space so it looks a bit more realistic. So we've got this four kind of tiny bones, and it looks just like this, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add four more fingers, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing. So a little triangle here, a little square, and then a couple of rectangles or elongated kind of squares. And they don't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of the thing. Our bones are not uh, proper symmetrical, are they? Well, at least I don't think so. I, I, couldn't tell you. I don't know. I've never seen a bone. I never broke a bone, to be honest. I, I don't want to say it because I, I might jinx it. Touch wood. <laughs> Touch wood. I have, I have broken a bone. And I've, have I've you? Seen, I've seen the x-ray and it was not fun. Oh no. Was yeah. it painful? Uh, extremely painful. I was ice skating and of course, oh. what do you do in ice skating? You fall over. So Absolutely. I put my hand out to try and save myself and that is what breaks my wrist. No. I've done fun. ice skating once, I remember. Mm. It was in Scotland. It was my first time ever. And <clears throat> back in the day, I also used to dance and do ballet. So when I did it, like when I actually um, skated, in um, Scotland, I ended up like picking up, picking up the skating so quickly. So I was like skating on one leg and whatnot because I had a good form. Getting confident. And I was getting so cocky, yeah. and then I just dropped on my knees, wow. and that was so painful. And ever since, I've not skated. 
No, it's traumatizing. The end. It is, tra <laughs> is traumatizing. It and it's cold as well. So you get the like your knees hit. Yeah. Like a super cold, mm -hmm. frozen floor, and the impact is just oh, it was terrible. Everything hurts so much more when it's cold. So much more. It was just terrible. Even after the gym when you train, right? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm not. Gym? What? The muscles? Oh, God. Maybe you need to, Tom. No. It would be nice. Are you trying to stand for that? No, never. <laughs> never. Okay, so I've got four fingers here. Wow, that's looking incredible. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. And now I've got to do the thumb. And the thumb actually only has three, according to the picture. But someone might say they have four as well. But let's do the thumb a little bit thicker. Because our thumbs are kind of thicker, aren't they? So I'm just going to literally do it in a diagonal line. That's so cool. It looks so cool already. You just wait till it's glowing. Mmm, it's gonna be amazing. I don't know why my voice is a bit like uh, one of those days. <clears throat> One of those days. It kind of sounds sexy though, right? Mm, raspy. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the hands done. And now again, we're going to do a cluster, right? So just a bunch of tiny bones to fill in the gap over here. It's super easy, guys. Honestly, it looks like super like intricate. But when you just um, break down the picture into shapes and copy, it's super easy, super, super easy. And anyone can do that. If you just follow this video, I promise you, you can achieve the same look just by doing the same steps that I did. I'd love to see the viewers' versions of them. Yes, I need to see someone recreating this. Make sure you tag SFX Nails if you do do it. Definitely. And you can also tag me on Instagram. 100%. So I'm going to do a long bow now. How long is it? Oh my god, it's actually quite long. Mm, long bones. <laughs> Say nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to take that down. And I'm just going to fill it in with white. And again, I'm going to do the same thing and create another bone over here. There's two bones. And look, we've literally just painted the hand. In what, less than two minutes, Tom? No, I've not even timed. I'm honest, saying five minutes maximum. Five minutes maximum. So I've painted this on. You can see what it looks like. Super cool, right? Let me just extend the middle finger slightly because, you know, why not? I'm just going ahead and checking if there's anything that needs fixing or thickening, if it makes sense. So I'm just going to do that. And another thing to remember, if you see any bubbles, because when you do press the dotting tool onto the nail and you paint, then sometimes you get uh, bubbles. So if you see any bubbles, just make sure you pop them before you cure this. However, we are not going to cure the nail just yet. So I'm sorry, Tom, we can't do our dance. Oh, not again. <laughs> we have to wait. So now I've painted the whole nail. I'm just going to pop this to the side and I want to show you what kind of pigment I'm going to be using. So I've got this gorgeous Daily Charm pigment and it's a glow in the dark pigment. I hope you can guys see. I don't want to touch the nail because it's not cured yet. And it's a glow in the dark pigment and I'm just going to pop it into one of these because um, it's just easier to kind of control the mess. Make sense. Control the mess. Mm -hmm. Right, so I've added some on a uh, pigment onto this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle it over the uncured white. So it needs to like kind of you know stick to that white paint that's still wet. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it very gently, and then again tap off some of the excess. But don't stop there, right? You need to continue doing this because sometimes when the pigment, uh, when the uh, gel absorbs the pigment, there's still gel left that's not covered and then it just doesn't look right. So it doesn't have to be safe. Exactly. Just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just like, you know, when you add 
spices to your food. You just keep adding. You just keep adding, especially Tom. Oh my God, don't get These concoctions that he comes with. I wouldn't I call know, them so concoctions, really. It definitely is. Last time we've put, what, soya, honey, pepper, paprika. I mean, we went through all the spices. Somehow it was still tasty, but I was worried. Yeah, I was as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna pop that in. I think I've covered it fully now, for sure. I also like that it gives it almost a 3D effect with it the does. powder. It's, it's like, amazing. It's really good. So this is what the nail looks like once I've covered everything. And now I'm going to pop this into the lamp for a cure. And then... Oh, okay. Okay. Right. <sighs> one more, and one then more cure. We can dust it. One more cure. Right. So we've finished curing that. So this is what the nails look like before I dust it off and I'm just going to use a little tiny brush to really remove all the excess and look, oh my god, how stunning this design is. It's like a 3D skeleton hand on your nail and it looks so gorgeous and to top it off, it glows in the dark. Oh, let me show you what it looks like when it glows in the dark. Ready for the reveal? Oh, I'm so ready. Oh my god, this is insane. It's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? This is absolutely sick. And imagine having a full on hand just like this. Look how bright this pigment is. Can you even, in comparison to my teeth? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. My teeth are not that white. But look how insane. I, I bet you can't see me in the dark. Can you put the light on? Yeah, Tom? I'll put the light on. Come sorry, on. Sorry. Imagine raving with those nails. Halloween's coming up. All the UV <laughs> light is going on. Absolutely. So, this is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial using all the products from Daily Charm, Nail Order and JN as well, which I've got links for all of them in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining uh, and sorry again for being absent. But as they say, good things come to those who wait. So I'll see you on the next one. Take care.